definitely big F. I'm going hood to hood, hood Illustrated Magazine. If you ain't repping your hood, you ain't repping nothing. So follow me on Twitter, B-I-T-H-E-F-F. Big F is coming to a city near you. All right, y'all know what it is. Once again, it's Hood Illustrated. You know what I'm saying? Represent that Midwest. We on the phone with Big Half. You know, out of that Midwest, Cleveland. What's good with it, fam? Uh, everything is great. Just relaxing before a trip to NYC tomorrow. You know, sticking with Hood Illustrated, keeping the Midwest uh, up to date on what we, what, what's going on. All right, that's what it is. What's, what kind of biz you got there in New York? Can you speak on it? Uh, I got a uh, NYC showcase going down tomorrow at Sullivan Hall. Um, just something, just bringing some more Midwest to, to the whole Tri-State area. Got a lot of labels and stuff coming and check out some talent. So, you know, we're just going, keeping the, the Midwest movement alive. Okay, that's what it is, man. I appreciate you taking out the time speaking with me. And I know you're a busy man. And, um, you know, just doing my research and, and just peeping the game, I see you. You are a man of, of many brands. You know, you, you associate yourself with a lot of successful different uh, uh, things. Can you give us a little bit of your hood story uh, from your early accomplishments up to your most recent ones with Beyond Stars Entertainment? Oh, well, I mean, you know, started off like everybody else wanted to be in the music industry and wanted to be an artist. Found out that my niche was behind the scenes. Uh, Started off working with a group called the Second Generation Ohio Players. Um, did our thing uh, music industry wise. Uh, got a phone call one day from uh, my dude D Train for Interscope Records. He asked if I could help break a record within the region. And uh, at the time I worked at a bank. I was on lunch break. He called. Got to talking. He just said, Yo, if you. You know, if you're serious about making stuff happen, you'll never uh, need a job and, a, and, and need a regular job again if you, you're passionate enough about this music industry stuff. It'll, it'll forever feed you. So that was uh, 10 years ago, and I'm still working. So uh, I started working at Land Speed Records uh, based out of Boston, doing street promotion. Uh, you know, like I said, I myself with a lot of good people, a lot of good mentors that help bring me in and teach me the game and, and the responsibility of the music industry. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got to give a shout out to like New Blood Management, my homie X Alive, my homie Fresh, D Train, and uh, you know, the next guy that, you know, um, speaking of is Big Proof uh, out of D12. Um, he uh, really gave me a lot of opportunities from, uh, you know, just doing a lot of stuff on the anger management tour, the D12 World Tour. Uh, gave me a complete opportunity. Uh, and that leads me into uh, 05, start working at Koch Records, which is now known as E1 Music. I uh, started out doing street promotions, and then I turned into doing radio promotion um, at E1. So shout out to my big homie D Sun around who, who brought me the game uh, over there. 06, started the Ohio Hip Hop Awards just uh, with my partner Derek Jackson, Derek McKenzie, and Mike Vasquez. Uh, I wanted to just bring some opportunity, create some opportunity and a platform for Ohio artists to achieve bigger and better things, to open up bigger and better doors for our artists in the industry, recognize our artists as being some of the best in the world. That's what it is. Uh, music seminar with Tone Capone and XLI, uh, which really we brought, you know, I think was one of the biggest turning points. We brought uh, 13 major label a in Ohio, did, did an event at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame at the Crown Plaza Hotel. It's probably one of the biggest seminars that probably ever touched the Midwest. Um, 2010, met with, uh, just uh, after working real hard, had a meeting with OG Johnny O. He was telling me about the nerve DJs. I work with a lot of DJs doing uh, from the labels and stuff like that. So we had a lot of similar ideas, a lot of creative ideas on uh, increasing the brand. Uh, made me the VP of the DJs. We've been rocking with that ever since. It went from like over 400 DJs to over 800 DJs within wow. a span from 010 to 2012. Uh, 2011, uh, an opportunity from a, a, a company based out of Australia called Blue Pine. Uh, a lot of things that I had going on. Um, I, I was working with uh, Crazy Bone, um, helping out with some of the promotions and stuff from Machine Gun Kelly, uh, helping out with some of the promotions and, um, you know, bringing, bringing cash back into the game. 
Ed did. And, um, you know, they granted me my label opportunity, which is named Beyond Stars Entertainment and Distribution. So we got rocking from there. That's, you know, a couple of the highlights. And, you know, <laughs> It sounds like a lot of hard work, man. It seems like when I'm, um, I'm checking you out, you always... Uh, you, you stay on the social network to let people know what's up and everywhere you go it seems like you get love. Is that from all the hard work of putting in work from all these years? Yeah, definitely. I mean, one, one thing, I'm a people person. Um, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a person out of people. So, you know, through the social network and I like to keep people inspired, you know, with some energy, positive messages because that's what I like to put out there. So hopefully I can, I can get that love back. And I also like to create opportunities. So, you know, a lot of times I'll do like a big half industry tour. I do a quarterly tour, cover between 12 and 15 markets. And it's really just to create opportunities. Let me get a chance to see some of the um, new up and coming acts that might be out there that I might have missed. And, you know, just kind of seeing what's going on within the market, what's the feel of the next generation of artists that can come through. So when a major label, does ask me who uh, as next or you know and I can put a, sol a solid answer to that question mm -hmm. like oh well if you're in St. Louis you can talk to Richie Stacks or if you're in Detroit talk to Trick the Kid or Dustin McFly I like what they're doing you know what I'm saying so like I, I've, I've been blessed to, with a lot of opportunities to be a lot around a lot of the greats and hopefully you know I can share that knowledge to the next generation of great artists to be so uh, I believe in hard work opportunity preparation all that good stuff that you know that definitely keeps me humble but it definitely keeps me working at the same time yeah that's what it is man and um you know Hood Illustrated we we up here in Michigan man and I when I first uh found out about the Ohio Hip Hop Awards it was like okay I had to make make a decision myself that I want to keep it Michigan or kind of spread out do nationwide and regional and and um, your Ohio Hip Hop Awards was a blessing me going down there and, and networking with so many people I didn't expect that um, that many people and, and that much love from you know people just trying to get on was that your initial goal to go ahead and have a networking event where you know all different um, brands companies artists come together and, and kind of unite and, and try to, you know, blow the state up or was it just, you know, uh, an award show just to recognize people? Uh, um, it was definitely a networking event just to see the bigger the bigger and better things, the uh, scope of things just because um, from that networking and free opportunity, you know, our thing was to, to increase awareness of what's going on throughout the whole state. So if you're in Toledo or, or if you're in Dayton or, or Cincinnati, you'll know the, the top artists are in each of those regions or each of those markets, rather, to, you know, so they can, you know, do collabos, do shows together, et cetera. So if, if there's a hot producer down there, then they can, you know, get some work. So it, it really just becomes an uh, infrastructure and a structure and program to, you know, increase awareness, increase the... Um, the, the, the currency flowing throughout the whole state as far as people working together. Um, you know, we've had major artists come through, through the, the whole pipeline of the Ohio Hip Hop Awards as well as a lot of up-and-coming artists. So, you know, uh, they were local artists at the time with the, the seven-year span. They've branched out to um, major label artists and so forth. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's really just getting that whole network of people together including that in with you know regional publications national publications publicists producers you know and our reps entertainment lawyers and managers and stuff like that that can help bring up the next level to a artist's career mm -hmm. that's what it is man I, I definitely benefited from you know the experience of just driving down there and meeting with people and and um and and the love that i got back from having a quality product it just it made me want to do my product much better because if you go around people and you got something that's that's not high quality or it doesn't look like you serious then they tell you and you know i got nothing but a respect for y'all and and you know helping me you know step my game up um 
and and I realize is you know creating a brand is hard creating a brand what what can you share with some of the readers of Hood Illustrated something that you can share to a young hustler that's looking to uh, you know change it change it up and, and start creating their own business what pointers do you have to, to assist them with you know creating a brand and making it successful Oh, really? 